Another amazing enhancement to Splunk Enterprise Security that's coming live in ESA.0 is a new direct integration with Splunk SOAR. So if you have a Splunk SOAR instance, you're able to go into the configuration of Enterprise Security, select the SOAR menu here and pair your Splunk Enterprise Security instance with your Splunk SOAR instance. And then once you've done that, a whole new range of new capabilities become available to you right from within the workflows of Enterprise Security. One of those is the ability to run uh, automation, so playbooks and, and SOAR actions directly from within the analyst queue on your findings and finding groups. So for example, um, if I wanted to take the context available inside this finding and run a playbook, that option becomes available to me right from the analyst queue. And I'm able to go ahead and, and do that right there in about a click or two. So this is huge for being able to give the tools to analysts to, to take care of enrichment tasks or automated um, triage tasks or automated response tasks right from within the queue and, and get things done. Additionally, it's important to note that Splunk Store automation playbooks have full awareness of Splunk Enterprise Security 8.0 so they have the ability to manipulate findings and investigations um, right from within ES, a hugely powerful feature. Additionally, if I'm looking inside of uh, say a, a given investigation, um, all of the automation tools that I have available from that perspective are, are there as well. So let me just find an investigation in my queue and I'll go ahead and give that an open. Just a few details here. And then uh, I'll look at the automation tab and I can see from an investigation perspective, all of the automation history that is run. Um, so I can see exactly what was returned from that automation. So uh, a bunch of different uh, automations have run in this case for me and I can see all the results here uh, of that automation. So very powerful capability. And then of course, from the investigation context itself, I have the ability to run playbooks or, or run individual op, uh, actions as well. So that's huge. Now, one other uh, integration and capability that's hugely powerful is the ability to automatically run automation without the analyst kicking it off from within a finding or an investigation. And the way to do that is actually um, with something, a new, new capability we've come up with called automation rules. So those are configured back in the settings here under automation rules. And what you can do is um, create an automation rule, which essentially marries a playbook with a detection or multiple detections, right? So you see in this case, we have a detection for malicious PowerShell process, and then we have a playbook um, for encoded PowerShell analysis that will automatically run when that detection fires. And then same thing here for risk findings, we have two detections that we want to do some enrichment on. And then we have risk findings enrich, which will automatically run when those two detections fire. So very, very, very powerful capabilities for integrating Splunk store automation directly into your investigation, triage and response process within Splunk Enterprise Security.